Hello, welcome back to barbecuecoach.com. Uh, today we're going to do barbecued oysters. And I'm not talking about uh, uh, cold smoked oysters or even grilled oysters. Uh, most of my customers are, are uh, barbecuers or uh, slow smokers and have uh, offset grills like this one here, this little charbroil silver. And for those of you who don't know, the difference between uh, grilling and barbecuing is uh, grilling is hot and fast over uh, direct heat and technically barbecuing is uh, low and slow over indirect heat. Uh, a lot of people use the term barbecue uh, and grilling interchangeably, but uh, uh, most of us in the barbecue community uh, know the difference. Uh, and there's also what you call uh, cold smoking, which is which is uh, pretty much you know how uh, things like uh, cured sausage. Smoke, cured smoked sausages made and uh, slow, uh, cold smoked cheeses and salmon even and, and even oysters. And what we're going to do today is uh, basically barbecuing oysters. About 300 degrees for uh, about 15 to 25 minutes. Uh, being from Savannah, I, I know a thing or two about uh, roasting oysters and down here we usually uh, steam them. Uh, we put them in a, a pan with a little bit of water in the bottom, a roasting, you know, oyster roaster, and steam them until they crack open. Uh, only takes about 15 minutes. Some some people put a, a, a sheet of steel uh, over a, a fire, over an open fire, and just throw the oysters on top of the, the sheet of steel and maybe throw a burlap burlap bag on top uh, to keep the steam in uh, the burlap bag is soaked in water and as the water drips down onto the hot metal plate it steams the oysters uh, but uh, so this is sort of a, uh, a, a convert you know basically uh, I'm coming from come I'm gonna convert my uh, steamed oyster oyster recipe into a barbecued oyster recipe and one thing to remember about uh, basically when you're cooking these oysters is uh, you basically just want to cook them until they're until the edges start to curl. You don't want to overcook them or they'll get rubbery. That's the that's the basically the whole thing you have to remember when. Uh, when cooking oysters. I'm going to open one up here. And as you can see, there's a little around the edges of the oysters is what what you call a well is it's like a fringe or basically it's the gills of the oyster and when those gills start to curl up uh, that's when they're done so you that's when you you don't want to overcook them or they've got rubbery like I said so Just keep an eye on them after about 15 minutes in your smoker at 300 degrees. You want to check them. See if that uh, the edges of the oyster are curling up and if they are, take them off. Oysters are good to basically eat raw. So you're just basically heating them up. You're not really trying to cook them all the way through. And 
to clean uh, to to prepare your oysters, first thing you want to do is uh, wash them off real good. Get the mud off of them, and then any other shells that might be sticking to the outside, just wash them off real good. And if you find any like this. See how that oyster is cracked open? That oyster is no good and you basically want to throw that away or you're going to get real sick. <laughs> Oysters have a sort of a round, round uh, shell on one side and a flat shell on another side, on the other side. You want to Stick your knife right in that hinge there like that and pry it open. And you'll be uh, you can get these little oyster knives at uh, down here in Savannah. You can get them at any hardware store that sh you know any kind of store that's basically the, the smaller ha hardware stores like Ace and. Uh, Ace Hardware, uh, and uh, you can also get them at these kitchen, kitchen stores, kitchen supply stores. And then I, if you're gonna have a big oyster roast for a bunch of guests, go out and get a bunch of these gloves. You know, you can go down to the dollar store and buy a bunch of these leather gloves with a leather pad, because when you're Trying to open up raw oysters, you might slip and hit your hand, or even even if you're trying to open up steamed oysters, uh, you want a good good uh, glove on your hand in case you slip. And one one thing we're doing differently today uh, from uh, steamed oysters. Steamed oysters are are uh, steamed whole. You don't have to open them first. Uh, for this uh, barbecue oysters recipe today, we're going to basically cook them on the half shell. And as you can see over here, I have a pan full of, a, full of rock salt. And I'll take my sh shucked oysters on the half shell and just set them on that, that rock salt like that to keep them from tipping over. And you can also have a serving plate. Uh, with rock salt on it to serve them on. So let's get to opening up these oysters. Uh, you can either, you know, they, these oysters are attached to the shell by a little hinge. Uh, you can just leave that on for now and you can take it off later as you eat it. And if you want, you can leave some of the juice in the, in the shell or, or pour it off. It just depends on what you want. Nice full oysters. All right, let me get these things clean and then I'll uh, come back and uh, uh, show you a few recipes, uh, different toppings and that kind of stuff, and also a nice uh, cocktail sauce or dipping sauce. Okay, I got all my oysters uh, shucked and got them in the pan with the rock salt down in the bottom to hold them in place and what I'm going to do now is uh, give you one of my simple recipes for uh, a real good cocktail sauce or dipping sauce uh, basically just uh, ketchup about one cup of ketchup 
just double up the recipe if you if you need more horseradish uh, prepared horseradish this is not the horseradish sauce it's a uh, prepared uh, it's basically shredded uh, horseradish and uh, in uh, in vinegar uh, to every cup just add a good good tablespoon uh, that prepared horseradish is more like a mayonnaise or something this is a real horseradish uh, about a teaspoon of mustard and a little bit of Tabasco about a, about a teaspoon of Tabasco whatever you want add more if you like it a little hot the horse horseradish has a good bit of heat in it just stir that up and that's it that's a that's a good sauce right there Oysters are usually in season in the in the months that can have an R in the month, but you can pretty much uh, get them uh, year round these days uh, with the, the importing. Uh, you know, they're they're farm raised in some places and also imported from other countries year round. Uh, I believe in most most areas, so you can get them just about any time of the year. Uh, one of my favorite recipes for oysters uh, is uh, uh, started out as a microwave oyster recipe. Uh, if you're ever in a rush and you want some uh, oysters, just uh, try this little microwave recipe. It's basically oysters on half shell with a little dash of a uh, lemon pepper, like that. And then a dash of Tabasco on the, on there. And if you microwave those oysters like that for about 30 seconds, they'll come out perfect. It's uh, it's unbelievable. But we're going to use a uh, sort of convert that recipe over to to the one we're using today. And we're going to barbecue them like that. There's all kinds of ways you can season these uh, these oysters. You can use your favorite barbecue rub. This is a Rocky Mountain Products uh, Southwest rub. It's a good all-around rub. I use it in competitions on chicken, ribs, pork butts, and brisket. But uh, just sprinkle that a little bit on each oyster. Dang, bees are starting to get on my oysters here and then uh, what I'm going to do is just take some of this sauce and put it on some uh, and that'll be it right there just uh, just a little bit of this cocktail sauce on oysters and cook them like that Get off my horse, DB. I ain't no good thing when they say it. That's three uh, recipes right there. Uh, you can put anything you want on these oysters. Uh, you, you can look up, uh, look on the internet, look look up uh, oysters Rockefeller. You can use recipes like that. You know, little sautéed vegetables like onions and celery and spinach. Uh, you could put a uh, Worcestershire sauce on them. That's real good on oysters. Uh, another another good recipe is uh, melted butter and breadcrumbs. Just make sure that they'll get brown on top. Uh, or or uh, 
you know, uh, cracker crumbs. These uh, saltine crackers are also good for uh, serving the oysters. Uh, you can put your oyster right on top of a cracker and eat, eat it like that. Uh, or you can just uh, smoke them plain and you just uh, get that smoke flavor on them and, uh, and then dip them in, in the sauce as you eat them. Is all you know. Just just uh, make them your own. Put put what you like on them. My uh, smoker pit temperature is 300 degrees, which is just perfect. I got some uh, some uh, wood chips soaking here. These are uh, those uh, oak wine barrel. Uh, uh, wood chips that I sell in my uh, barbecue store. I'll drain off the water. Get some smoke going in this thing. Throw these right on top of the coal. Oh yeah, you can, you can smell that wine already, uh, those, uh, these, uh, these, uh, smoking chips are made out of, uh, real oak wine barrels in California. They're real good. As you can see, the smoke's, uh, coming on out. And what I'm going to do is put these in there for 15 minutes and check them after 15 minutes to see if that edge is curling up real good. And, and if they need more, if they need more cooking at that time, I'll turn them and, you know, rotate them and cook them with about 10 more minutes if they're not done after 15 minutes. Alrighty, see you back here in a little while and we'll see if these things are done. The reason I'm using this charbroil silver today is, is, uh, in, instead of my uh, pellet smokers is because I, I get a lot more smoke flavor out of this, this smoker as you can see. Normally you don't want that much smoke when you're cooking uh, cooking ribs or pork butts or brisket or chicken or whatever because uh, the those take a lot longer to cook and you, you don't want to over smoke them. This kind of smoke right here is, is usually bad smoke but since we're just smoking these oysters for about 15 minutes uh, I want to get a lot of smoke on them and get a lot of, a lot of that flavor into them. Uh, it's not going to hurt them if, uh, if I'm only cooking them for about 15 minutes. So it's going to turn out just about perfect. Okay, our oysters are uh, finished cooking now. They did take a little bit longer than I thought they would. Uh, usually, uh, like I said, you could steam oysters for about 15 minutes and they'll be perfectly done. But uh, I don't know, I got all that rock salt down in the bottom of that pan and everything absorbing a lot of that heat and things like that. And it's just a little, uh, a little bit different cooking environment. Uh, just took a little bit longer. I, uh, I went about 45 minutes with these, and they're done uh, just like just about like I like them. Uh, if you like them a little bit less done, you can just cook them for 30 minutes, or maybe go to a whole hour if you like them a little bit more done. I wouldn't go over an hour though, or you'll probably start getting uh, getting rubbery at that point. Looking good. I may see if I can find one uh, show you how those uh, edges curl up. Uh, let's see. Yeah. I'll show you some uh, better pictures here in a minute, but uh,
and I got a plate. Uh, I have a plate of uh, rock salt here, and this is my serving plate. You just uh, take them out of this cooking pan and put them right on your fancy serving plate, and the rock salt will hold them in place. Like so. There you go. Barbecued oysters. Let me try some of these uh, lemon, pepper, and Tabasco on. Mmm. Done just right. Got a little kick to it. <laughs> just like I like it. This is one with uh, a little bit of the sauce on it. Mmm. That sauce is great. That sauce is great. Trying to find one with the just the barbecue rub on it. I believe this is one of them. That's not bad either. I think I like the one with the sauce and the uh, lemon pepper and Tabasco on it uh, the best though. Uh, all, the, all I need to do now is give me a beer and finish these off. <laughs>